Hello, my name is Sasha Kalistratov and that's Days in Russia channel. Today we are in the city of Ulyanovsk. The city is very, very important in our history because the great comrade Lenin was born here. In fact, the, the original name of the city is Simbirsk uh, and it was a fortress uh, that was actually built back to the 17th century. This city is remarkable because it's placed between two rivers, Volga and Svyaga. So today we're going to show you some interesting things uh, to be visited in the city. We are in the main square of the city. Many people like spending time here with their children. But many tourists come here every year because of this beautiful view on the river of Volga. Vladimir Lenin was a very important person in the world history. He created the first socialist state in the world, the Soviet Union. This museum was built in memory of him by the Soviet government. So let's come and see what's inside of it. The first thing we see in the museum is a panorama on the old Simbirsk that looks pretty remarkable and very realistic. Everything here is dedicated to Vladimir Lenin. Here is a sculpture of his mother who is teaching him how to read. We also see different documents and different pictures and uh, of course hammer and sickle. We also see caricatures and we see different kinds of artworks on Vladimir Lenin. This museum shows the history of the Soviet country and history of Vladimir Lenin's way of life. Some people criticize him and they don't like the way that he chose for our country. But I can't judge him because who knows what can happen in other case. So that is why let's be neutral. And here is another Vladimir, current Vladimir. So, let's come and see other places of this beautiful city. We are near the so-called old railway station. This is a typical building of uh, the so-called uh, Stalin's architecture. The most peculiar things for Stalin's uh, architecture are many, many details, almost Baroque. So, I want to say that uh, back to 1930s, Really amazing buildings uh, were constructed, and that's true. Uh, in fact, this building hasn't been uh, reconstructed or repaired by, by the moment. But it still works and it still looks beautiful. So that is why uh, the Stalin era of architecture is considered one of the, of the best uh, in the history of world, of world architecture and Russian architecture. We are in the old railway station and now we are going to ask one of the inhabitants what does she like most in the city. Oh, in the city I like more than everything our river, Volga. I think we have beautiful views on it. And we have some things, well, few things in the center to be seen. Uh, and I also think that we have very nice people here. I like this city because here you can see different kinds of architecture. Even the houses that were built back to the times of the Tsar. There are also different kinds of Soviet architecture and of course the modern architecture. That is the main educational center of the city, Ulyanovsk State University. It used to be a part of Moscow State University but it was separated from, uh, from it later. Uh, this building was built back to 1990s. It's a pretty good university, you can get very good education here. Uh, also, they have stadiums, uh, tennis courts, they have park for students, so they can walk there, they, can, they have swimming pools, football stadiums everything for being a good student and getting the best education. They, they also have a theme that shows uh, different cities around this place. Like Moscow, 
Vatican, Kiev, Riga, Monaco, uh, Venus, Dublin, Bern, Riga, London, Bratislava, Stockholm, Bar Barstow, and others. So uh, that's why, in, if you if you live in Russia, you can get education uh, in the city where you live, and it's going to be a, a good education, and you'll have many, many chances to get it for free. Well, this is a place where students usually relax uh, near the Ulyansk State University. So if you're gonna do your homework, you can come here to this park, you can sit, uh, you, can, uh, you can actually enjoy uh, the nature and they have a fountain there. So I think that it's a very nice place to get education. This is a place that's called the Bridge of Friendship. I don't know why do they call it this way, but I believe that the best friends, they put their uh, locks here and, and that symbolize their friendship. And uh, this, this is actually a place near the Lyanov State University. And uh, I, th I, think, I think it looks, it looks pretty good. This is the most unique part of the university. This is a monument to Halava. Halava is a Russian word that equals to a situation when student doesn't learn anything but he gets successful on his examinations. I think you know what I'm talking about. It may be translated into English like freebie or something, I don't know. But uh, still sometimes students open windows before exams and they like saying Come here, Halava, because they are waiting for good luck in the exams, even if they don't learn anything. So I think it's kind of ironic and it's funny and it's hilarious. Unexpectedly, we met some international students here. Hello. Hi. What is your name? My name is Murtali. Where are you from? I am from Zambia, Africa. Oh, that's amazing. Uh, what do, uh, do you like? Do you like it here in Russia? Uh, no, 50-50, yes and no. <laughs> okay, do, do you study here or something, or you travel? No, I study here. Oh, you study here. Where do you study? Uh, Ulgu. Ulgu, amazing. Uh, Ulgu equals to Ulyanovsk State University. Do you, do you study there too? Yeah, I study there. <laughs> what, what, what is your faculty, guys? Uh, we're in the medical faculty. Oh, that's amazing. My sister is actually in a... Uh, medical Academy and she's going to be a pharmacist. Oh, yes, but she is in Chilabinsk. Okay, good luck to you guys. I hope you like it here in, in Vyanovsk. Okay, <laughs> goodbye. And now my friend Ignat is going to tell me about this part of the city. Well, this part of the city was constructed specially for the new building of the university. That is why these nice houses for students were created with the highest conditions of comfort. And of course, teachers for this university were invited from the whole Russia and they received apartments here for free. This part of the city is not very big, but it's very comfortable and has the highest level infrastructure. You don't need to go to the center of the city, you have absolutely everything here. It is very clean here, and I think that this place is one of the best parts of Ulyanovsk. Ignat and me came to the square that is dedicated to the victory of the Soviet people in the Second World War. That was the first episode of the Days in Russia channel. We are going to be back to Ulyanovsk tomorrow uh, and uh, I think that this city is pretty amazing. Uh, tomorrow I'm going to visit the so-called New Ulyanovsk. And I hope that's going to be interesting for you as well. My name is Sasha Kalistratov. Goodbye for now.